Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. So today we're going to talk about this little block right here that everybody knows so well. It's called an elevator. <laughs> so um, as you know, the machines produce a bunch of heat. So I wanted to put them someplace that they're not going to cause a bunch of problems, which is going to be down here. Um, so I started clearing this out already. And just a tip, uh, when you put these guys down, don't put them on top of the elevator um, because you can't teleport to them. You can teleport away, but you can't teleport back down to them. So uh, you got to move it over one. one two, three, four. Okay, so that's why that wasn't there. Um, as you can see, I got a new shovel. Uh, last shovel um, didn't quite work out the way I wanted it. Um, I'm trying to get th three three levels of reinforce on it so that um, when I add an obsidian um, rod to it it'll um, it'll be at six and then when I add four plates to it for the modifiers it'll become indestructible okay so let's see I need I am totally not prepared in this episode at all. So I need a an energy cell. I wonder. I might just tear these down. These keep their charge. They don't keep their time. They're, they've been... Uh, see, that's already being wasted right there. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. I need... Um, let's see. I need four lead. How about that? Um, for glass, um, I will need more tin and some end bar. So let's grab some tin. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, I think I've got everything. All right, so we need a block of redstone. Need some lead and some glass. We need tin. No. Oh no, that's different. All right, we need copper. We need Electrum as the one I was looking for. So, Electrum, three things of copper. Don't have any copper down here. I'm thinking if I may, may have, uh, should have put the elevator, because I wasn't going to put the elevator under here, um, which might make it better. I think I might actually do that because when I'm coming up for parts, I'm coming up here, not over there. <clears throat> I want to have access to all my parts because that's what's going to be the building process. So I didn't need 10. Well, I'll just put that back there. That guy, that guy. Here. Oh, I didn't grab a copper. Where you got? Construct copper in bar or an energy cell. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't suck some of that energy out of <coughs> that network. All 
And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to move these guys around to such a way that I might actually move these guys lower. Because, <laughs> man, they're hot. They're like, they're, they're max heat if you get too close. So I'm already... You gotta keep the camel pack on, otherwise you run into issues. Okay, so the problem, so let's see here. Did I make any of these yet? I didn't even make any of these yet. I've got some stuff here. And the one I wanted, where are you at? Are you in here? No. What did I do with you? There's a grinder. Oh, you know what? Did I put him out here? Yeah, he's right here. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Um, there. You want to see how my bits are doing? My bits and bobs are doing over here? Five stacks of under pearls. Bunch of dirt. Bunch of string. Lots of bones. Gunpowder. How are you? Are you full again? Jeez, I just cleaned you out. Think you got enough spider eyes? Silverfish spawners. You guys need to. Oh, jeez. Well, that's only like three things. I might have to put like a, um, a filing cabinet for each each piece. How are you guys doing up here? There's like how many's up here? Fifty-eight. Are you guys able to keep up or what? No. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, and I, I don't have enough power. <laughs> Puts all your other, uh... All your other mob spawners to shame, huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have to figure out what to do with that. That's that's too funny. Okay, so I've got. Let's see here. Let's go to technological revolution. Okay, so I need these guys, which I'm gonna put down here, and that's probably what I just made. Um, need a fruit picker. All right, well, give me a minute while I figure some stuff out. I need to arrange some stuff. I thought I had some stuff going, but um, I guess I lied. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I'll be right back. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're back, and I just wanted to show you what I did. Let's see what we did. So I moved that, um, the elevator. I moved it over there so we can have a better, um, I need to fill this in a bit. <laughs> Um, so more continuity and then I can um, look at things from a distance before getting too close and things get too hot um, but yeah here it is so I've got um, I used a lot of our um, the leftover edge stone um, I think it turned out pretty good I used the, um, the alternate stone where you combine it twice and you end up with these guys. You combine the edge stone twice in a 2x2 two two pattern. You end up with all that. And um, So here's where the machines are going to go. I want to bring them up one level. 
I think the only way I can do that is use camouflage blocks right here. Um, I think it'd be neat to bring it up one level, but I don't think it'd be feasible. Um, I need to run power to it all, um, which is going to be a bit challenge, which would be a bit challenging had I gone with that route. Um, I do need to get power reconnected to everything um, <laughs> because I'm going to end up running out of power. Um, might use the the survivalist generators as like a trickle charge and and then if things get really bad I need to find out another um, so here's our generators that we have um, <laughs> another star generator not gonna happen um, the one I really like is the not the lava generator but the heated redstone one this one produces um, I'll have to play with it again um, but it would off of one piece of redstone you'd melt it down in a magma crucible and then you'd put the liquid in here and one piece of redstone would last you know it, it's like it's 320 RF per tick and it lasts a decent amount of time for um I don't know how much redstone I have let's see let's see what we have I, when I was using magical crops it wouldn't be that hard to do but um, a thousand redstone I might have to find a way to um, farm redstone so I can farm like blocks on blocks and blocks of redstone so um, I guess the the other option is the 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 other dynamo so we have a steam dynamo I don't think we can get that going we have a compression dynamo um, this guy redstone flux oh requires fluid fuel and a coolant fluid fuel I wonder what it actually uses and then we have the react dynamo which is what we're using with the fuel um, with the the um, mob essence the problem I have with that is I mean we're getting plenty of plenty of gunpowder plenty of mob essence but it's Excuse me. It's um pretty far away from our main base. I don't think I want to run. Um, I don't want to run it that far. I'm wondering if I could use a fluid transposer. So here's an idea. Not sure if it'll work. I'm gonna go test it, but. Um, since we don't have the ender tanks, we have no way to transport liquids. Um, but Java has the B space barrels. What I could do is I could set up two B space barrels one for buckets with mob essence in them and one for buckets that are empty and I could essentially from my mob farm use a uh, liquid transposer are they called transposers? I've been up for a while, so I'm losing my thought process here. Um, the liquid thing, you mean jigger dur hickey. <laughs> uh, fluid transposers. Um, to put the mob essence into the bucket, then put the bucket with the mob essence in it into the B space barrel, 
then over here I could pull it back out. Um, the other thing I could do is add um, a B space barrel for gunpowder. So that gunpowder I have over 2,000. If we go over here with, um, where are you at? Oh, are you like right here? These um, these dudes get stuck on a lot. Oh, he got stuck on my conveyor belt. All right, you can get out of there. So we have these guys. Oh, not too bad. I guess after. Oh, dude, what happened over here? Oh wow, that's not good. So are these not free from creeper explosions too? What's on this side? Huh. Interesting. I guess these blocks aren't free from creeper mini explosions. <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, that's a bug. <laughs> it's a lot of bugs. Uh, oh, let's see how our, our stuff's doing. 151 ender pearls. I think we're okay on ender pearls. What do you think? Um, 231 dirt. That would be 2,000 uh, rotten flesh. Um, this guy's full again. I think I need to put another um, another one of these guys and then just pull out all the stuff I don't want. I need to move this dude like connected to here and just pull everything out using um, stuff the factory manager is that's like way easier this is look at all this garbage I don't need all this anyway <laughs> um, I think I'm tired <laughs> you think uh, rambling man da -da 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 -da. But yeah, so um, thinking machines here. I need to get them made. I don't have them made right now. And then I could put stuff in. Yeah, we'll talk about it when I get them made. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to be right back once I get everything together, which will probably be a couple hours for me, but a mere split second for you guys. <laughs> All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Uh... Well, it took a few hours, not a big deal. Um, considering what I got accomplished, I'm pretty happy with how it got set up. I've um, got a few things left to do, and we're just going to do them together. So, you ready? Here it goes. Pachoo! Attached it to there. Here is the warning section. Don't go past that, or bad stuff happens. <laughs> so, this is as far as you can go. Right here, you start taking, um, you start getting hotter. Um, I've got enough room for five machines. This whole room for five machines. <laughs> so you can tell how important it is. So let's see. Let's go down here. We want these guys. Um, we got to power this up. So first thing we got to do. So I've got a hardened energy cell up there that splits the power between the um, the food harvester. And the tree harvester, the tree harvester and planter goes up. The food harvester and planter goes that way. Um, so uh, these guys here are all set up. Um, all I got to do is drop those three guys there. Those three produce a lot of heat, so I haven't put them down yet. Uh, I was waiting to do that together until we got some actual power loaded. Um, so what I've got is, so there's my 
Flow transposer, got a glacial precipitator. The other things we're going to put down, we're going to put down a magma crucible to go with the fluid transposer. Then um, we've got an induction smelter and a pulverizer. Now as far as cooking stuff, I'm going to use the the furnace array that I, that I set up. And that's going to do all my cooking and it's going to use free lava and, and all that cool stuff. Alright, so if we go down here, here is the cool stuff. And you're almost out of energy. So we are going to rocket okay rocket pocket set this guy up okay so i want the block facing south um i think i showed you guys this before oh the other thing i did so i've got stairs i put up on this side um so i can have access to up here for running cables and i really like having like five blocks let's see one two three four blocks five and then another five okay so it's 10 blocks between floors, which I think is actually a very nice um, setup here. Because one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess nine blocks. Well, six if you can count the floor. Or five blocks, I guess, per level. So nine blocks per level. Because having this much room under here, you got two blocks to do whatever you want. And then for running on your cable, you got another two blocks, which won't interfere with um, uh, the other stuff you're doing. So yeah, so that's that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, okay, so we need to... Um, let me double check. I want to check this code out to see how, how it's going. So we want... Um, that's plant sapling. Oh, I fixed the plant sapling. Um... So it is now hooked up to the this lever right here. And um, right now it's shut off. So all it is, um, since the, the planter doesn't use, or the planter and the harvester don't use any um, energy unless it's actually doing something. So what I did is I hooked up a redstone transmitter to the planter. I did that at a previous one. So now when I apply the redstone signal, um, it turns the planter off, so it stops planting. If you turn the harvester off, the trees still grow and it causes a bunch of, it causes sh um, shadowing and it causes, um, you know, adding spawn spots and things get all crazy. So I just turned off the planter instead and that keeps everything um, in check per se. <laughs> Alright, so let's set up... Oh, did I even... I didn't even check power. You didn't even tell me. Come on, guys, you're slipping. <laughs> What's the dealio? Okay, so back to power. Power overwhelming. Um... Redstone receiver should be the lowest one. 39, that should be about right. I don't think I have any of them that low. Okay, so 39 interval side south. We are looking. What? Oh, south. Okay, sorry. Um. So for ours, ours is pointing that direction. So it's, hey, it's still south. Awesome. So we are taking a piece of coal and we are putting it in. Oh, we need to, so we're not on here. So the generators, so let's check, um, I think generators, I don't think any generators are selected. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, because there's none there. All right. And that, is that a while? That's what I wanted to check. It is a... 
power, power, power. Where are you at? I just, I, there you are. That is a while low. And let's see, while 10 through 15. So if we are higher than 10, we're okay. If we're lower than 10, um, then put a, a thing in there. So let's go down and put our generators in and get everything set up. I'm going to put a door right here so it's I don't have to break it every time. Because I don't want to break that cable. I really don't. I'm terrified of breaking that cable. I think the only way you should be able to break it is a shift right click with your bare hand. <laughs> that's that's how I do it. <laughs> All right, let's put these guys down here. So I'm gonna put them all right here. Uh, let's. I like keeping them all symmetrical. Okay, and that should be it. Those guys are all hooked up to there, and they should be powering here. So let's go up and set up that variable. All we should have to do is set the variable and all the code should work. Emphasis on the should part. <laughs> Come on Steve! Show me love. Okay, uh, let's see here. We need front, no. Generators. Containers. Sucked all. So then now we should be able to go down there and they all should have power. Total bachelor eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I'm all alone. That's a staple. Uh... All right, let's see. Okay, so they've all got coal in them. And so that'll build up. Um, it should. And if you do, um, so one point or one sixty times eight is eight hundred. So I think anything lower than eight, I think I should turn it off. Oh well, it, it outputs energy weird. And it might do a better job now that I have um, hardened energy conduit. So that'll allow, because it'll now allow 400. So it'll allow 50 RF per tick per, uh, as far as input goes, per thing. So. Six. So that's that. That's that guy. So these guys should be. They're gonna be going crazy. They turned the furnace. The survival generators. The heat is down quite a bit on the. Well, I guess because it's nighttime. <laughs> All right. So now for. Oh, let's set these guys up. So. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna put a magma crucible there, top bottom. Here, this thing is like brutal. Okay, so we've got magma crucible in out. Oh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting it's nighttime. <laughs> Come down here at night. Um, induction smelter um, in out, and then. Pulverizer. There we go. Sweet. So all those guys are set up. So now that I got those guys, then I can go right here and watch. Tink. There. I can sit here and watch them. If I'm doing stuff with them, <laughs> I might. Um, what I want to do. So one of the things that I'd like to do 
is um, maybe up here is what I'm thinking uh, maybe over here is have a chest for each um, so have a chest for the pulverizer a chest for um, the induction smelter a chest for um, the magmatic or the yeah the mag the crucible and the fluid transposer so that um, that thing works oh and the other thing I need to do is um, I need the bottom most fluid transposer let's, let's find out what cords this guy's on so you are 209, 215 at like 44. Two oh nine two fifteen at forty four. Yeah, these guys here. Um, let's do this. Fluid forty three. My bad is down two levels. Oh, that's right, because it's down my level, my eye level, one level below that, and then one below below that is the actual. Okay. Tories fluid. And these guys fluid. All right, now we should be able to go like that, and then this guy should be going again. Yep, there we go. Should be able to go down here and watch the. <laughs> so you're full of lava now. Awesome. All right. So we now have our machine room set up and now we can make all kinds of cool stuff. And cool stuff I'm referring to things like um, yeah that stuff. <laughs> um, so I can do tesseracts now maybe kind of um, yeah, so I can do I can do the hardened glass now, which is is one of the things I needed. PRX three hundreds. Oh, that's that's what I needed. I need to do these, which require these guys. This is what. So I need an induction smelter to do this, and then to get the flux electrum, um, we can do that. Pulverize it down. Yeah, so we'll pulverize that off. Um, I can automatically make Electrum. Um, now I can just toss two pieces in a in the induction smelter, and they'll go. So like this guy. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So you can toss a gold and a silver in the induction smelter, and I get what I need. Or I can toss, I can toss both pieces in the um, the pulverizer and get what I need. Also, so I can just combine it, get electrum, use the electrum to make the energized electrum, and then so all kinds of good stuff. I can make all kinds of fun stuff now. I can do the uh, redstone energy conduits now because um, I can make the hardened glass and then um, I can fill it with that uh, redstone thrusters yeah so lots of new stuff opened up by setting those machines up lots of new stuff the big thing being tesseracts ooh tesseracts yeah 
Um, oh, you know what it was? Here, I'll tell you what it was. Um, this is what I'm after. This guy right here. And that requires the two flux electrum blend as well as um, three ingots. Flux electrum ingots. So that's what I that's what I was after. Um, so I'm gonna make one of these, and I'm gonna replace the dude downstairs. This is 320 RF per tick. It's a lot of redstone to set up, um, but with I I believe with what we have set up, um, I think it'll be pretty cool. And I I'm thinking I have I might have a way. To, I might actually have a way to do an automatic um, auto spawner changer thing. I have an idea for that. Just came up with an idea for that. So, bam, idea, new ideas every day. I am that good. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a really good time uh, figuring this stuff out and setting stuff up. And I hope I'm entertaining you. And if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please let me know. Leave a like or comment below. And if you didn't, please let me know. And so I, let me know what I can do better so we can all have a good time. Okay, guys. Thanks again. Take care and have a good one.